thing that I thought that I would never do, but it is to actually offer one pagers as a service. Um, nowadays, you know, I, that was my first business, uh, about a decade ago, building websites. And I still feel that I have an edge there, although everyone in their cousins built web page, you know, and that has strongly diminished in terms of value. Um, well, uh, it's still something that is quite uh, interesting and, and that can be done. Let me show you the, the reason why. I use WordPress and Divi. So basically I start out on Namecheap, uh, buying a domain name. Uh, from domain name, I go to, I, I redirect the domain name to my cPanel. Uh, I could show you that. I don't want to bore you out with those details, but um, it's hosted on Namecheap. Namecheap costs like five dollars a month. The domain cost me eight, uh, <laughs> so it's very cheap. And I would charge the clients the hosting and the domain name. By the way, uh, probably ten x markup. You know, I'd charge them, um, yeah, fifty bucks a month, domain included and, and hosting. So there's still like a business that can be done out of that. Uh, the only thing is that I would need to watch myself with the cybersecurity. Probably have a I know a bunch of cybersecurity folks, so to make sure my shit doesn't get hacked. Um, anyway, um, basically I create, uh, this for very cheap and a very short amount of time. Then I install WordPress, right? So that's what I was showing you. I'm not sure where, okay. Yeah. Softaculous. So I install WordPress, uh, on that domain name that I just buy. I'm also good at buying the domain name and branding it. Um, it is installed here. I log there. Let's just hope that this video doesn't show you the the logins. I don't think so. Okay. And I then install a DV team. I've bought elegant teams uh, for lifetimes. So I don't pay anything for these beautiful templates. You can find a bunch of templates in there. Uh, they all look good. And that's the importance of a web page. It's looking good. It's like buying a suit uh, for a wedding. And I will modify a couple of those images. So these are the next steps. First for this, I already had some text, right? So I use this app um, called Magical. And basically I shortcut my way. So I just wrote like slash podcast and then it, it gave me this whole text here. So I'm just gonna build it in front of you because that, that is the, the text, right? I'm also gonna modify the, the typo. And then I am asking uh, mid journey to send me some cool images. Um, yeah, these look like a bit, bit too much details here and they look very mid mid journey. Um, so I'd have to check, but I'll send you some prompts here. Looks a bit spacey, you know, and I, I prefer the, this powerful looking, uh, website. Uh, imagine powerful skyscrapers. Imagine skyscrapers in New York. Imagine um, the perfect golf shot, you know? So I'm putting like a queue in mid journey. Um, it's like CEO stuff. Like imagine a, a CEO on a yacht overlooking a perfect view. Imagine uh, private. So like, yeah, it's queued. Um, a CEO boarding his jet. These are silly. Um, I'll refine them. You know, it will probably be a bit smarter than these cliche things. Um, what I want is like images that represent power, right? Um, architecture is pretty cool, which is why I chose this domain. Okay, now then for the text, right? So I'm just going to spread it throughout. That's the step one. Speed is quite important in these things because me personally, my mind loses a lot of interest with time. Um, and da, 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 topics of interest. So let's go here. Topics of interest. We will talk about and here I can put like since uh, 2019. Uh, when when did I interview my first CEO? Let's go with 2020. The button that's hidden by this video. 
Um, then I'm going to take uh, this part here. Um, I'm going to create a new column. So regular one uh, video, video slider. New video, add a new video. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Add a new video. Let's see if I can add a playlist straight up. So that that's my goal. That's the main goal of that web page. Actually, just to show like the actualized CEO wisdom pod. All right. Okay. So where's the website again? Oh, there it is. Uh, another thing that I want to do on this website is an RSS feed because it's a podcast. Let's see if I add this. What does it do? Insert. Uh, that will be V1. And obviously, I will diminish the size of, size of this because it doesn't look good with Well, I could do is like potentially add um, the founder wisdom side by side because most founders are also CEOs. Anyway, these are details, but see how quick um, it is. Like, I, obviously, I need like some kind of playlist, but um, that would be the start. Okay, book and interviews the call to action. So yeah, what I wanted to show you guys is like how quick it is. This content here, I will spread it throughout the website. Um, and just to show you like the image adding part, which might be relevant here. Um, and just, yeah, to give you value here, this website should take me a couple minutes more, you know, to build. And voila, I would have a website in less than 30 minutes. It's all about time and energy and flow. I also find myself somewhat enjoying that because it works on design, it works on copywriting and so forth. I also use Canva to uh, insert some image in there. And let's say that I charge, yeah, 50 bucks a month for the hosting, um, you know, and that, that includes support and all of that, or even a hundred bucks. I think I'd go more with a hundred. Um, the website also could be paid per month, you know, um, so let's call it a 200 bucks a month in perpetuity or they pay the they pay the website um, upfront. The website, a one pager would cost 1K, um, which is still cheaper than the competition. I mean, the ROI on that, right? Like, let's say that I take 30 minutes to do that, like 1K per hour, um, 1K plus they have to pay 100 bucks per month in perpetuity, you know. Still a good business, uh, everything considered equal. 